They don't like the weed eater too much. Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Welcome back to another day in my 2020 beekeeping season. We're going all the way from winter through to the next fall here in my small operation in Southeast Louisiana. And as always, this is not a how-to video, guys. There's enough of those on YouTube. Y'all can go out and find out how-to from a whole lot of other people. Because I'm not going to be held responsible for telling you what to do. I'm just showing you what I do in my season, here and there, one day at a time. I'm just an eight-year beekeeper trying to figure things out. So today, guys, it has been a long time since I have done a video. The last video you saw should have been the harvest video, and honestly, I did that about two weeks ago. Maybe a little bit even longer. I took a short trip, because after harvest, here, it is the middle of summer, and it is hot, and it is miserable outside, and there is just nothing you want to do outside except for what you have to do. So what I did was I decided to go ahead and take off, head for the North Carolina mountains, where it was 62 in the morning and 80 in the afternoon at best, and 70s in the shade and enjoy a few days up there. But now we're back, honey's in the buckets, honey house is closed, and I had a wasp that just hit me. And I need to assess some of my hives. Um, like I said, I don't assess them all a lot of times, but I like to assess them going into the summer to make sure we're in the dirt now, they are gonna need to eat. There's nothing to gather. I don't feed my bees. I'm not against feeding. I feed them when I have to. So I don't feed them. This time I take the supers, and I leave them enough hunting. But with the weakened amount of hives I had, I wanna go out and do assessments um, now, and I can't stay in the hives too long because with pretty much a dearth going on, we don't need to have robin starts. So I'm gonna do a few hives here and there, split it up into different videos. It's back to inspections, guys. I'm looking for queen right. I'm looking for population because we got beetles peaking right now. I'm putting in beetle blasters with dimetaceous earth this time I'm gonna give that a shot and I'm checking for food stores uh, if all those are met we leave them alone I don't touch them again until fall that's I just don't touch them there's no reason to if they've got those things if those things are set there's no reason to mess with them um, because if they explode in mites there's not a lot you're gonna do about it unless you're putting strips in I don't put strips in it's too hot to even put strips in because you can actually uh, do more harm than good if it's too hot uh, those go in in the fall so there's nothing you're gonna do about it if they do get mites leave them alone and leave them closed up so they can keep it compact and keep the beetles trapped and just don't mess with them because nothing's going on now that's here that's that's southeast Louisiana that's in my area I'm not speaking for everybody's area I'm talking about mine so so that's that's how I, I do it um, some years my assessments take place as I'm pulling supers uh, but while I was by myself and I was in a hurry, I really didn't take a good look. I saw some that were good, but all these got ventilated after I pulled because these are out in the direct sunlight. Uh, I got to do some weed eating around them, and we're going to take a quick glance at them. And I might do two uh, at my next door neighbors, but we'll see how that goes. All right, let me get suited up and let's get started. I did look at the entrances. All hives are alive. So that's good because I haven't been out here in probably four weeks, maybe five. And you can tell by the grass. Let me show you. They're a little grown up. But I'm happy to report they're alive. Now this one doesn't have any bees coming in and out the front hardly. But they're roaring inside as far as uh, hearing their buzz. But we gotta get this uh we gotta get this cut down. So when I'm done I'll I'll knock it out. You probably saw it at the front of the video, but I did it at the end. Let me get going. Alright folks, I was noticing out here, I want to show y'all something here. I tell you there's a dearth on we have nothing I mean there's blooming here and there a little bit of wild elderberry but nothing much but this right here this is goldenrod all right that's gonna be uh, that one is there's a couple others that are not like that's not but there's goldenrod in here and it's all over and it's all over this area and one thing about goldenrod and this is something I read and uh, I see a bunch of it as I'm talking to you guys but right now you see it grow big and July, July is now, and we just got a ton of rain. They say for down here in my region, you want a lot of rain in July going into August 
for the October nectar of the goldenrod. So I think when I told y'all in one video we don't have a flow, and when we do, it's not a ton, even though you see a bunch blooming, I think that's got a lot to do with what it is. We have a lot of dry summers, and without rain in July going into August, they say mid-July to about mid-August, uh, you don't get a good nectar on the goldenrod. And so, um, so we've had a lot of rain, and that's what you hope for. If you get, get a few inches of rain, uh, we did go about a week and a half without it, but if we get a few inches of rain here and there, uh, supposedly the nectar comes in in October. So that's the way it is with a lot of plants. So while you may see something blooming, it doesn't mean they're getting nectar. It could be definitely getting pollen, but it doesn't mean there's a ton of nectar. It's got to do with the moisture. So goldenrod is a prime example that you have to have, um, you have to have rain three months before, and that's what gets you your nectar in the plant. I guess the plant stores it. I don't know. But uh, I'd read that and just thought I'd show you that that we have goldenrod, and it'll be this high, you know, high right up to here right now. But uh, if we don't have rain, it can bloom as yellow and pretty as it wants. It won't have nectar in it. Well, guys, we're back doing inspections again. Here's a here's a ventilated hive. They've got it guarded. I got a popsicle stick tripled over, and that gives them about a quarter inch. And you know, you always t you always read about smoking the entrance. This is an entrance now. They're guarding us. Best smoke that. If you don't smoke it, woohoo, and you open it. Now this hive was a good hive, and I think it looks loaded to me. And again, we're gonna be just checking for queen right. I put a wet super on here because it was a single and it was blowing up pretty good, and I wanted to give them some space. And I just threw a wet super on it because that's what I had. So they probably loaded it with brood, but that's okay. I planned on it. If they load it with honey by fall, I got some other mediums I'm gonna put in here that'll have honey in them that I don't want that honey from. So I'll swap them and I'll take this honey. But they will have honey in the winter. I won't rob my bees of their honey. It's another reason I don't need to feed as much. Take my, see I triple that over. And I give them a little ventilation. Uh, some agree with ventilation, some don't. Let's take a look real quick, see if they've loaded brew. But it looks to be honey. Now this honey is almost cured in there even though it's um, not capped because it's that hazy color. So what happens, it down here they'll fill honey and all of a sudden they'll just stop. And they'll be half full and they won't cap it. Put that on its side. Smell of honey in the air, gotta be careful. Remember, Looking for Queen Wright stores, which they have for summer, because they could very well eat that honey that's in that super. Queen Wright stores, beetles, install beetle traps. That's really it in overall population. Population so far looks decent. Plenty of stores. I've got honey breaking loose. I don't like that. Oh, it's a good smelling hive, too. Got my yellow safety glasses on with bifocals, so. And I've got larvae. Now we'll see if y'all can see it. I, this camera doesn't do good for that. I've got larvae, larvae. I'm in the south. I should say larvae. Oh yeah, we got itty bitty tiny larvae that are five days old. Um, see, I'm breaking open some honey. See how that honey gets broke open? That's what'll cause you robbing. These bees are defensive right now. With good reason. And last frame. There's young enough larvae. I gotta find my flashlight, guys. Good brood pattern, decent, you know, young enough larvae. There's pollen in here, there's plenty of stores. When I say young enough larvae, that means five days ago there was a queen here, nobody's messed with her, we're good. Healthy hive, no beetles, I like that. But we're still gonna put a beetle trap in. It takes no time to start. So we're gonna put this on. 
There we go. That's it. That's good hive. Let's go to the next one. Let's see. The bees up top. Uh, let me just get a quick glance in here. Don't look like a lot of bees. Population's not the best. Don't see any beetles. I see food, so that's good. Yep, see plenty of food. Remember, it's the dearth. They need food for the dearth. You can rob all their honey, but if you take everything from them and not enough to leave them in the dirt, then you're going to have to feed. Nah, feeding is just another expense. It's another task. That's why I don't do it. That's, I think the whole top is... Oh, no, there's some brood. All right, so there we go. So we want to see. I see larvae. Young, young larvae. It's hard to see with these bifocals without a light. They work good, but I can't see without light. I see another patch of brood. Oh yeah. See how, now the brood patches will get smaller. Oh yeah, full of larvae, don't see a queen. It's another thing I don't, there's some light. I don't necessarily look for a queen. I glance and I move on. Cause you just need to be quick. All right, they're backfilling this with nectar. That's interesting, huh? But it won't be a lot. It's not a swarm concern. Let me just say that. Normal. Okay, here's a frame. Let's look for a queen because it's a good frame for her to be on right here. I'm actually pulling each frame now. Just be sure we don't have swarm cells. Shouldn't at this time. They should be satisfied. There's a full frame of honey. So almost a six frames of honey. The bottom's probably good. I'm gonna look back at that cup. You see that cup right there? It's only one. If it's swarming, it'd be plenty. It's just a cup. Normal for bees to have a cup all the time. I'm irritated I don't have my light. So I'm gonna pull my magnifying glass out, even though I got my glasses. I gotta go find my light. It falls out of my pocket. I probably dropped it. Yeah, she's filling them up. So even though she's slow, she's got, uh, we got good coverage. So this is Queen Wright. I see no beetles. I see plenty of food. Population, eh, it's not great. And it's not like they're all out right now, but it's fine. So, call this a good hive. And you know, honestly, They'll eat this a lot of this honey, but the, I, they'll eat some of this honey. They won't eat a ton of it, and um, they'll be fine for winter. All right, we're pleased with that one. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, population ain't great, but they're up top. Again, if there's a lot of honey, we won't see that giant population up top. But this one, I think this box, I don't even remember why... I, I mean, this is all foundation looks like. I think this hive was just weak. Yeah. This was a weak hive. That's that's why. They got an entrance reducer. That's what it was. This was just a weak hive. Let's see what they got. So it gave them an opportunity. Yeah, they loaded it up with honey. Look at there. Almost dropped it. It's heavy. Yep. Looks like. Let's see if there's any brood in the middle. Alright, so we got brood in the middle. A little bit of bridge comb. No bridge comb on it. Um, yeah, look at that. So she's she's getting her some winter bees. These are winter bees. I see drones. I see brood. Looking for the queen just in case, but man, I couldn't find my flashlight. I went and looked for it. I bet I dropped it at home. It falls out of this pocket. I need a new one anyway. It's only the center. These two aren't drawn. Let's go there. Ooh. What we got here? Wow. She'd probably be on this frame. This is all eggs. That is, that's all eggs, guys. But she's laying, she's laying the eggs. 
with that space they got population I don't see beetles I see plenty of stores population is okay and they're queen right so that's what we want all right, three hives, good. Very pleased with that. Let's go to the last one. This is the one, I, the one down here I was questioning. Didn't look like it had a lot of bees. Let's go look. Now this particular hive, when I walked up, it's like hives. There's no bees on the front, but I hear them inside. This one queen. Oh, it smells good. That's always good. Man, you can tell a lot by the smell. So, all oh, honey, honey, honey. Oh wow, honey. All right, now we're into. Some pollen in, in the edge of the brood nest, backfield nectar. And we should see the brood nest next. There's not a lot to backfill with out there, so we don't sweat that swarming. Um, I'm not saying they won't swarm, what I'm telling you is I don't usually have problems with swarming this time of year. This has got a lot of honey backfilling in the into that. Wonder where they're getting that. Hadn't seen a queen today, but again, I don't look too carefully for them if I see evidence I'm happy I'm seeing very sporadic eggs I'm seeing an egg here and an egg there I'm seeing drones she's close by but I see eggs so I know I got a queen three days ago so there's our winter bees those are gonna be your winter bees those are your ones that are gonna go ahead and I mean not all of them but me a lot of your bees going into winter right there in that brood yep she's fine I'm gonna pull one, we don't have robins so I'm gonna pull one more frame so the nest is actually right here it's only like four frames it's a very narrow nest I don't know what the bottom looks like but as I look down that's ah, a okay population little queen cup but that means nothing at this point they always have them and a little back filling with nectar so where they're getting the nectar who knows but we'll get them back together so they're queen right no beetles all right folks here we are next door let's take a look and see what we got okay so what are we looking for we're looking for strength here they come they're coming up now we're looking for beetles we saw a few we're looking for stores I see honey all over the place and we're looking for queen right oh we got bees in here shoot she's got she's queen right that black foundation is perfect for looking for eggs Let me they got food on the edges and on the tops. Actually, this hive is strong. I guess looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving, guys, because maybe just so hot they're not messing around going out. There's no nectar. A lot of times they won't. The workers are just beard on the front. Look at that pattern. This is, while I don't think they recently swarmed, and look at that honey on top. It's square across the top. Well, I don't think they recently made a new queen I don't think that was a sign I do think this is a different queen because that's a much better pattern than I had early on so let's put them back together they're a queen right if y'all can see oh and it smells good something about a hive smelling right you just know it's good. You just know it's healthy. Here. All right, we're gonna put that in there. Cover them back up. Good hive. Very good hive, actually. Again, summertime assessments. Oh yeah, I got beetles too. give these guys are going to get it this this hive was strong but I put a, a wet medium on it because they needed more room but they wouldn't produce honey uh, they just weren't that strong 
okay guys so this was a hive it wouldn't fill a honey super i want to show you something put a nine frame box in here and almost every frame is like that no brood in the top full honey super and they need space wow this is a this hive is still Give them some smoke, they're not happy. So we know they got food. I won't take that honey from them yet. But I am gonna see what's in the bottom because they got the numbers. See how much honey they got in the bottom. That number, got food. They got beetles, they're getting a trap. There's our pollen frame. Now this is a hive that has swarmed over the summer. And so I tried a single deep with an excluder and a super and they wouldn't fill it. Took the excluder out, gave them just a super and you see what they did. They filled it all the way up. I think this hive was pollen bound and I'm starting to believe that now because what I'm seeing is a lot of pollen. Pollen bound is as bad as honey bound, guys. Same results. Spotty brood. Now, who knows what that's from right now. Yeah, definitely spotty brood. But I'm seeing pollen mixed in, so again, they were pollen bound. Maybe she's just using what she can. See, that half a frame is full of pollen. That's almost all pollen. That's open brood. It's all being backfilled with nectar. Where are they getting nectar? Hmm. Still some nectar out there. Not a lot, but it's enough where they're putting it in. That's fresh nectar. And pollen, my goodness. And here's just some more brood. It's all mixed up in here. They were pollen bound. That was what happened to them. So I got eggs. They got food. All right, guys, that looked good. So six hives today, and all of them, uh, all of them are right. Had one that was on the weak side, but I think it'll be fine if it's not mites that are keeping it weak. If it's mites, well, October they probably won't be around. All right, guys, well that's it for today. Um, we just did six hives, and that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to, and so it'll be split up into probably three or four videos because I'm only going to do a few hives at a time. Um, you know, going to there's nothing pressing right now we're not pushing to a harvest we're not building bees we're not making queens we're not avoiding swarms and all that right now well i'll always avoid swarms but they usually knock a swarm now um they're either set or they're not so what we're doing is just doing assessments we're doing uh assessments going into summer and seeing where they stand for food population if they're queen right and what kind of beetles we got going on now, interesting thing was those hives at the pond, those are the first hives I've ever put in direct sunlight. Ones that get sunlight the entire day. And uh, no beetles, didn't see one. Did I see one? I don't know. If I did, I don't remember it. Anyway, but I still put traps in there. I come over here, boom, beetles in both of them. One of them had a lot of beetles. Uh, but they've got a lot of space to guard, but they're a strong hive. All works out. So strong hive is your best defense against beetles. Traps or no traps. Swiffers, I'm just not convinced. I've tried them. Maybe I'll try it in a hive that's heavy on them. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'm not convinced, guys. But uh, I like the beetle blasters. Uh, very happy with the hives. We saw one hive that the population wasn't that great. That was the last one we looked up at the pond. Um, that's okay though they got brood uh cat brood's gonna emerge in the next week or so i don't know if it was maybe they swarmed late um the thing is that was a hive that had honey on it so it had a good amount of bees but i can't remember when i pulled the honey you know because those were emergency pulls i pulled because i was worried about weakness i think it was already weak who knows all i know is i think it's good for summer it also could be a situation where we've got mites knocking it down uh mites are a big deal um you know I, I hadn't really talked a lot about mites in my videos 
Uh, I don't use the miticides. Not against them. Not against guys using them. I'm not a. Fir I'm not one of those that believes we just let the bees figure it out, and over time they'll they'll learn to fend them off. Commercial guys cannot do that. They cannot afford to decimate their entire. They're already decimating them through tr with treatments as it is. They they can't afford to decimate entire livelihoods to wait for the bees to figure it out. That's just the facts. Um, guy with a thousand plus hives, five hundred hives. He's got to treat. Um, I'm not against people treating at all that, that's uh i don't get into that debate so yes mites mites are a big problem um you know you, you really need to be doing mite counts if you really want to track it i hadn't done any this year i don't do them a lot of years one year i did them i don't do them often i probably should but if i lose it i lose it because i'm not putting in strips so you may have down populations in this situation like i got in that hive and that could be mites and the thing with them is even though you may see the mites and you may decide you're controlling it, if they've already passed along enough of the virus, viruses that they carry, whatever they may be, deformed wing, there's another name for another one, whatever is getting them sick, uh, once they get it, it don't matter what you do. You can kill every single mite in there, but once those bees are sick, they're sick. And that usually happens to me if I get that, usually around September is when I start seeing the drop off. So to see that one drop off, I think maybe it's still just recovering from a swarm. They're not building fast right now. Another thing I saw was fresh nectar in a few hives. So I'm not sure where they're getting that, but uh, it's got something coming in. There's bottle brush and stuff like that, but not enough to do that. So Probably some elderberry, wild elderberry. So we'll see. But hey, I'm pretty pleased with those six, and we'll move on to another five or six tomorrow. And again, guys, just a quick assessment. A post-harvest assessment. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate y'all watching videos, man. It, I tell you what, the the responses on these videos have been something. I've I've I really do try to answer every comment. I'm um, getting to where I just go in every day, once a day, and answer them. But uh, man, I'm telling you, we get some good comments and getting some good feedback, and uh, man, we're getting just a lot of complimentary comments, and I sure do appreciate it. Man, I'm just I'm just making videos. I'm just doing. And it's doing what I do and, and bringing the camera along. I will say it does make my inspections longer uh, because I'm doing different angles and trying to talk about things and doing endings and all that. But um, I'm just bringing you along and letting you see what I do. So it's been fun. I really do appreciate all the complimentary compliments. Guys, I've had one or two that have been rough, but other than that, everybody's good. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a good time. I really appreciate all you guys watching. I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. And listen... There's a lot of people watching videos well over how many I got subscribed in some cases. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you did like the video. That is the best way you can support the channel and make sure that other beekeepers and other people searching for bee videos can find them. And guys, don't forget to share it with friends, family, and anybody just enjoys watching bees. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon and God bless y'all.